What do you get when you combine Texas with Freddy Fazer's Pizza, Hot Dogs, Rocket Science, and Hamburgers all together? You get this. This is A Bite of Freddy's. You might have heard about it from the Paco's Twitter account, or you might just heard about it now when you clicked on this video. The game has the classic FNAF playstyle that everyone loves from the past 9 years. Each animatronic has their own personality. Freddy is a late night talk show host, and let's be real, who even watches those? Chica is a cowgirl who likes playing the who can aim better game with you. Business Foxy. Fredbear, or the Red Bear, is an orchestra conductor, and we don't really talk about what happened to him. And Bonnie, well, um. He has a carrot for cigar, which is adorable. The FNAF Texas game has unique challenges with custom mechanics, which lets the player experience the game in a different way. Now, who loves a change of pace of the game? I do. Introducing the food delivery system, much better than the old midnight to 6am shift sequence. Now, all the characters look really adorable. I mean, just look at Foxy, he's really craving those kid what- oh. Oh. Um, can we cut that please? I could just go on about Foxy explaining why he's the best part of the entire game, but just remember, he sent a rocket to outer space, and who knows what was inside that rocket. But there are other fun characters to stare at while you're waiting for your food to be cooked by- Wait. Who's even making the food at night? Now the visuals and models are absolutely amazing. Most of the models were made by the same guy who made the models for the upcoming Framers game, Pop Goes Evergreen. His name is Garrett McKay, if you're wondering what his name is. Now, I would sit there and start the game's visuals for hours, but later I would start to get unsatisfied and realize I was supposed to play the game, and not look at this astonishment, which is the uh, environment and graphics. Oh, and did you know, a bite at Freddy's has the best FNAF character designs? It's true, anyways. Now, the Texas Freddy game isn't all perfect. For example, the hitbox on Chica when you're dueling her is kind of annoying since you have to aim directly between her eyes. So, I hope you know how to aim since you'll need to aim to make her leave. Also, another issue with this game is that it's a bit short. I wish there were two more courses or nights to go through instead of three. I don't know, it's just my opinion and criticism. I just feel like the game would be more fun if there was at least two more courses during the main game. Now, about that one sequence where the light bulb breaks after the first course. I wish you had to look around in your office for where it is rather than being right by you. Therefore, it would feel like a minigame, not some cheesy cutscene that was about a nanosecond long. For the next minigame, I have zero footage of, so I can't really explain it. But all I need to know is vent. You know, like a Why is everyone doing at me? Alright, let's get to the final review before everyone starts getting mad. The final rating that I give A Bite of Freddy's is an 8 out of 10 for having really good visuals and character design, well developed gameplay with a few issues here and there, with some custom challenges to keep the player engaged, so I highly recommend you get this game, there's a link to it in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video.